Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. My name is Howard and today we're going to talk about LUDAS MCP. LUDAS MCP allows us to interact with our LUDAS cyber range using natural language without memorizing LUDAS commands or any of the fancy syntax that might come with LUDAS. If this is the first time you are hearing about MCPs, you may be wondering, what is an MCP? An MCP is pretty much like a translator it's a tool that you can put between your application and you so that you can interact with it using natural language or using other means that are easier to understand. So it's an open protocol that enables AI models to securely interact with local and remote resources through a standardized server implementation. So I'm going to show you how we can deploy a LUDAS MCP and then I'll show you how it works. But before we do that, here is Cloud. Cloud is connected to my LUDAS MCP. And I just asked here, say, what version of LUDAS am I running? And he told me, hey, on the server, you're running 1.9.7. If I wanted to know the version, I can go to my LUDAS server and run LUDAS version, and it will show me the same information. If I wanted to know what templates do I have, I can say LUDAS templates list. I would have to know this syntax, as you can see. But what if I didn't know that syntax? I can use my MCP server and say, what templates do I have installed? And this cloud is going to reach out to my Lotus server and run the same command that I showed you and display that information to me in a chat GPT method. I can use this to deploy cyber ranges. I can use this to create configurations. I can even do fancy things like destroy and even create users. For example, I can say list all loaders users. I don't remember what the command is, but I think it's loaders user list or users list. Yeah, as you can see, I have one user here. Let's see what he says here. Oh, it's asking me, hey, Cloud would like to run a command. So I say yes all the time. And as you can see, it's showing me, oh, yeah, on your server, you, all, you have administrators and you also have regular users. So this is what we're going to be installing. And good for us, it's actually very simple by Nocturne Defender. Thanks very much to this person. This is a wonderful project. First, you need these requirements to be able to work node but i didn't know how to do this on a mac so i'm using a mac so here's what i did i opened another ai assistant comet by perplexity and i said hey i'm trying this to install this give me all the steps that i needed so brew install node you come on if you're on a macbook you just run this command here brew install node all right as you can see mine is saying it's already installed then next, we need to clone the repository. So run git clone and then cd to that directory. Then if you say ls in that directory, you will notice that you have these files here. And then next, just run npm install. I already ran this on mine. I just wanted to show you quick. Paste npm install. And this will just go ahead and do a build for us. Perfect. Now. We need to create a cloud desktop MCP configuration file. On a Mac, this needs to be in this path here. So in the instructions, I'm on a Mac, make sure this file will not exist even if you have cloud installed by default. So you need to run a nano to that, sudo nano, and then this file, your password. This is not correct. As you can see, we have spaces here. So what I like to do is, CD, actually, yeah, let's just do this. CD to that directory. And then in here, create that file called cloud desktop config.json. This is probably the most important part. And when we do this, after your installation, you will get this code here. It will tell you like, here, your installation is complete. Let me see if I can find it and show you. Oh, okay, I closed mine. After, soon after installation is done, it will say copy and paste this so you can just run 
and give them this code here. Then control X. If you haven't received this, let's go through the installation process and then maybe I'll show you what that will look like. All right. So mine is done, but if it asks you questions, it will ask you for information. Since mine is already done, set it up again. I'm going to run the renew, but you need to run the NX, MPX, Ludus, MCP setup key ring. I'm going to do this so that I can show you what it looks like, so I can explain what each piece is. All right, so first it will ask you, hey, how do you want to authenticate? I want to use WireGuard. I already have WireGuard installed on my Mac. So I'll say W for WireGuard because I'm connected to my server range on Ludus using WireGuard. You will need this if you don't already have it. Ludus admin username. My username is HMADM. That's my ad admin user. WireGuard path. Let me open a new terminal here. Theory. Grip WD. All right, so my WireGuard is in user local etsy wireguard.conf. That's my WireGuard configuration file. You need yours. I can give it here. Paste. Enter. API key. This is your admin key. API key. A loader server SSH host is on 192.168.36.225. Enter. The user is root. How do I want to authenticate? I want to use an SSH key. So I'll say K. Probably not a good idea to SSH as root, but this is my lab environment. I really am not too worried about it. SSH key path. Let's see. So my SSH key path is this. And the key that I'm using was I use SSH to authenticate is this. Make sure you give it the correct key. I have two keys as you can see. I I set up the other one and it didn't work earlier. So that. Does your SSH key need a passphrase? No. Not a no custom URI. No. And as you can see, everything checks out. If you don't have this correctly, it will fail. Then it will give you this code here. Make sure to just copy this. And then you can go to your path where your cloud is installed, so user, your username, library, application, support, cloud, then here, create the cloud desktop file and paste what you got in your terminal when you were done installing. Control X. After that, just restart your cloud application. It will take a second for cloud to open up. Now let's ask it, list, Ludus ranges, current user ranges. All right, user ID is that, last deployment number of VMs zero, which is not true, but this is actually like user ID and everything. So it's working. List, templates. Let's actually have it do something for us. So is it listing with templates? Let's also check here. I do have a range that is no longer registering, but here are the templates that I have. As you can see, it's listing my templates, Linux templates, Windows templates, templates build, Flare. This one is not built here, the Flare VM one. All right, we're going to ask it to create a new user for us. But before we create a user, let's verify that we don't have too many users here. So here I can say Ludus user, I think it's users list. As you can see, here's my user Howard. I think you list all. What is the, yeah, I think, all right, here they are all the users. We can see these two are not admins. So let's create another user. Create a Ludus user called, do not make an admin. This could be easy when you have labs and you need to create a bunch of users and give them access to a range. Instead of figuring out the syntax and all that stuff, you can just come and ask Cloud to do it for you. You can even generate emails to send to those users to tell them which ranges they have. So much you can do with this. So right now, let's see what it's going to do. I'll help you create a user called Cloud in the Luda system. Let me do this using the CLI. Okay, 
So as you can see here, we have Luda's user list, or these are all the users. Let's see. My user cloud is not here yet. Yes, yes, allow. So it's looking up the command Luda's users add, and it's going to try. It's a little slow. I'm not sure if I had a paid version, if this will be faster. So for those who use paid version for, for cloud, let me know. I'll be using a perplexity MCP so that I can have this query using a perplexity, which is my chat GPT-5. I hope that works. Otherwise, I might have to cancel the perplexity subscription and just use cloud subscription if I need to. But I really like perplexity, especially with the Comet agent, which I use all the time now. Okay, it says that there is already a user with ID. Really? Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, there is our user. Okay, cloud user. Okay. So it did it for us. And here's a user. We can ask it to do other things as well, like deploy a range, deploy or destroy a range or anything that we want. I think that's about it for now. In the next videos, when I I am working with my Ludus range and I need to do something. Don't be surprised if I pull my MCP here and start using it. I hope you learned today what is an MCP and also how this Ludus MCP is going to help us. If you have any questions, if you like this video, please remember to give this a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments. What else do you want to see? Do you want to see me do more AI stuff as well? Because I'm actually using MCPs now. I have a perplexity one coming and also there is this repo that is awesome MCPs that I'll be playing with. Where are they? Right here. So if you're doing any of these, let me know as well which ones are your favorite. I would like to start utilizing them. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.